Well, one of Russia's most notorious oligarchs is helping to broker a peace deal between Russia and Ukraine. Roman Abramovich spotted this week at peace talks in Istanbul. Both Russian and Ukrainian spokespeople said Abramovich is not part of either of our delegations. They say he's serving instead as a neutral party, helping the two countries come to an agreement and potentially, hopefully, save his own skin. Here's CNBC's Robert Frank. The image was extraordinary. Roman Abramovich, the famous Russian oligarch under sanctions in Europe, helping to lead the peace talks with Ukraine. And then news reports that Abramovich was poisoned, adding to the mystery of one of Russia's richest and most elusive billionaires. Orphaned as a child in northern Russia, Abramovich grew up to become an expert trader during the fall of the Soviet Union. He bought an oil company for $200 million, then sold it back to the government for $12 billion. He expanded into aluminum and steel, the European Union citing his, quote, long and close ties to Vladimir Putin. From a very young age, uh, Abramovich betrayed a very high level of ambition, and he combined it with great personal charm and emotional intelligence. What people say about him is that while some oligarchs are rather coarse and aggressive individuals, he always managed to charm people on the way up. In the West, he became the king of conspicuous consumption, buying the Chelsea Football Club, a fleet of mega yachts, including the world's second largest, trophy homes in London, Aspen, St. Bart's, the south of France, and Israel. His fortune once topped 23 billion. Now it's down to around 14 billion and falling since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. His yachts fleeing to safety in Turkey. Chelsea is being sold off along with his London mansion. The U.S. has not sanctioned him yet. I'm not going to comment on the calculus about exactly what determines if he is or isn't sanctioned. I just say that it remains a possibility. Now his fortune and his future hanging in part on a fragile peace process. The peace talks give Abramovich an opportunity to redeem himself and get himself out of the terrible predicament he finds himself in now. And authorities in Antigua today discovering that two mystery yachts that are docked there are actually owned by Abramovich, bringing his total fleet to at least five. The two yachts now at risk of being seized under UK sanction law.